Status Report, Commander KP Adventures Reporting, Colony Name, Hopeful Dystopia, Cycle 174. Water Levels, they are stable but could use some improvement. Drinking Water Reservoir is acting as intended with Overflow Channel creating a gas sealer containing the carbon dioxide that is produced by water. The Dirta Water Filtration is continuing uh, with little need for the overflow tank, which is located down here. Recommended improvements. The filtration system could be incorporated into the reservoir to stop any dirty water from being pumped up into the drinking water. Uh, an airlock door could be incorporated in here to allow access into the reservoir as needed. Uh, an airlock door to flush the drinking water into the dirty water reservoir if the uh, water gets polluted by the crew. Food. It's currently holding stable on uh, mush bars and muck root. Expansion will be needed at some point, however the crew are still happy and healthy with their current food so I'm not going to do anything at all to fix that. Oxygen production. Uh, it's still dependent on algae and slime at this point, however Current algae and slime mine is plentiful, so there's no need to panic and we'll just mine as needed. The current oxygen production is being done entirely by three oxygen producers and circulated by only two of our gas pumps. Energy production. It's still very much reliant on coal power and the hatch coal production is much lower than it actually needs to be. I'm looking into wood farming as the next project to hopefully ease the burden on the coal resources. However, we still have the manual wheels, uh, which are being used from time to time. The power grid itself is holding steady when power is being generated, and the modular nature of each individual circuit still holds up, allowing for easy future expansion. Farming. Animal farming efforts are still a major project, mostly focused on increasing the hatch production as the hatch hatchery needs expansion. I am looking into getting multiple of these, however at this point I'm still trying to fill up the first one. Puffed farming is scheduled to start in the next coming weeks, however I'm looking at setting up the puffed farming down in the oxygen room, if not in the oxygen room, then next to the oxygen room. The crew stress seems to be relatively low, all thanks to keeping them relatively focused in their jobs and skills and giving them the recreation room. They especially like the mechanical surfboard, which ironically is not actually located in the rec room. Due to its leakage, I had built it above the water reservoir, so that way when it is in use, the water just goes directly into the fresh water. Decor is still not a priority, as it seems to have minimal effect for a lot of effort. I may look into investing in the future, depending on the crew's needs, however at this point I just do not see the point in worrying about it. The bathroom needs are still being met with one central bathroom, and the inclusion of the showers has dramatically increased the health of the crew, and allowed everything to continue flowing. Which leads me on to cleaning. The cleaning crew are doing an admirable job, however sweeping still remains a low priority for them regardless of how I schedule them. I am looking at potentially investing in automated sweeping, however it's a very low level concern at this point so I'm not going to change anything too dramatically to allow that to happen. The germ levels have remained consistently low in no small part thanks to the deodorizers, but as well as the sanitizing that the cleaning crew does on a regular basis. So, summary of the base so far. The expansion needs are being met, however slowly. At this point there is no need for any dramatic expansion, so I'm happy with where things are for that. The base functionality remains high despite relatively low levels of resources. The crew are happy, healthy, and alive, and power generation is still the main concern when it comes to this base.